Okay, we're going to start with this story. It's called On Khran Yog Sagardin. And you can see the name of the author down here at the bottom, Gubnet U Kunkua. And it was Alwin Gillespie of Ashik. Ashik is to illustrate. Majin Awan Hunak Tlina Gran Yog Sagardin. Vian Gran Yog in a Kala. Avunchur. Hanik Misha Gran Yog Er Majin Er Satlina. On Willisagov Ganihin and Gran Yog Pashtna Agus Fragana Er Sa and Munchur. Pashtna Fragana Nurahanik Klina Awalia on Skull Vian Gran Yog Fos Sagardin. Bajer go will Ukris Ert A Gran Yogin Er Satlina. On will Ukris Ert Is Jack Lee Sakishtin, Agas Duskal Shi and Krishnor. Neil ain Feistna, na Fragana and Sha Ersatlina. Ach Tabara Shak Laja Aun. Tur he may peace Shak Laja than Gran Yog. Hui Klina a Mach Sagardin, Agas Hugshi peace Shak Laja than Gran Yog. Shuddich a Gran Yogin. Ersatlina, Tabia Agam Ditch Hanig Mami Amak Awami Ersatlina Hugme Pisa Shak Lodge, Tan Gran Yog, Ach near Ish She, near Ish She A Ach Tan Gran Yog in a colour, a story, Ersamami Hui Tlina a colour, Galua and Ihashin Hanig Daddy is Jack, Agas Lay She Scale D. Ihoa a yadi, ersatlina. Ihoa a storin, ersatadi, agas kala salv. Tamal in a yeashin, hula tlina an vashtak. Lame she a machas an lava. An gran yog vucht, ersatlina. Be she fluk bacha. Duskal tlina an durs kakun, agas a mach li sagardin. Kawil tu a gran yogin. A gran yogin vucht er satlina. Tatu fluk, fluk bache. Turi me is jaku. Betu jas tiram anish er satlina. Hog tlina on gran yog is jak. Be lava hiram anish agat er satlina leshan gran yog. Lig mami beh ashti. Awa, tarudegan salaba er shisha. Gran yog ata aun er daddy. Achlina. Okay, let's go back to the start and go through it and explain what's going on here. So back at the title, Achran yog sagardin. So the hedgehog in the garden. We can tell here that Gran uh, yog is a feminine noun because after the definite article, it has a h. If it was masculine, it would not have this h. Sa in the jardin, and after sa, most words are lenited to have a h. Majin Awan, so one morning, Honik Klina, Klina saw Gran Yog, a hedgehog, in the garden. So with our number systems, uh, one morning, one actually goes after the noun, so morning is Majin, but two mornings, three mornings, it would work like English, it would be before the noun. V a Gran Yog in a colour, so the, our subject here is the hedgehog was in his, actually in her, sleep. So when we want to explain a state in Irish, for example, asleep, awake, alone, you normally say that they are in their sleep. So for example, I would be in my sleep is equivalent to I am asleep. It's different from sleeping, which would be an act. Avunchor, so teacher, so you're using the vocative case here because you're directly addressing the teacher and it has a H. Honik Misha, so emphatic form of may, so I saw, as opposed to someone else, a hedgehog this morning, er majin, er satlina, so said klina. On will isagav, gunnihin an gran yog peishna agas frugana. So here a is is usually just pronounced as is, the fh is silent. It means knowledge. So this is the question form. So be its knowledge at you plural so do you plural do y'all know gunnihin 
on Grand Yog. So here again, this is our subject. That the hedgehog does eat. The N is just here because the go ends with a vowel and the I and the in starts with a vowel. So that the hedgehog does eat worms and frogs, replied the teacher. Nur honig kleine awalia on skull. So honig is our past tense of came. So honig kleine, kleine came, awalia, home, or to home literally, from the school. And then nura is when. So when kleine came home from school, the hedgehog was still in the garden. Bajer is the, literally means would be possible, but we kind of translate it to maybe. Maybe that hunger is on you. In Irish, emotions or feelings like hunger or anger are always on somebody, so you have to say maybe hunger is on you. This is a subordinate clause, so this is sort of ta. If you want to say you are hungry, you would say ta across earth, because a subordinate clause like that, ta converts into will. So would be possible that hunger is on you. Maybe you are hungry. Akran yogin. So again, in the vocative case, because you're directly talking to the hedgehog. And this in here at the end is the diminutive. So it just kind of means like uh, like horse to horsey, hedgehog, hedgehoggy, said cleaner. And here you can see the direct question. On will. So be hunger on you. Are you hungry? Estrakli sekishten. In with her into the kitchen. Off she went into the kitchen, basically. August duskoshi, and she opened. So we can see our verb here is usko, but it's in the past. It's preceded by the d because it starts with a vowel. She opened on khushnor. We can tell here that this is a masculine noun because it has no h after the definite article. Nielain feishna na fragana and So not not be basically not be any uh, worms or frogs here. Said Kleena. Ach, but ta bara shaklaje aun. But a chocolate bar is there, or is in, in it, literally. In it, referring to the fridge. Turhi me pisa shaklaje. So this is the future tense. We can recognize this with the F A I D H is the future suffix. Tur is give, so will give. I will give. Pisa shaklaje, a piece of chocolate. Done. This is a combination of do and on. Kranyo to the hedgehog and after done the next word will the night if it's if it can if it starts with a consonant who we clean a mox guardian this is the past tense of this is the regular verb past tense of go so who we clean a cleaner went out into the garden and in, in english you would go out to the garden in irish you go out into the garden august hug she and she gave a piece of chocolate the Gran Yorg, so we have the same thing here. The and on together, and the night's next word. Shudditch, here to you, or here for you, literally is uh, here you go. A Gran Yogin, so the diminutive case again. Ta be agam ditch. So literally, food is at me for you. I have food for you. Honig mami amok. So again, we have the past tense of came. So mami came out. We can tell that this is the past because of the H in the second position. Awami. So in the vocative, she's directly addressing mom. Said Kleena, hug me piece of chocolate and then gran yog. So I gave a piece of chocolate to the hedgehog. Ach, near is she a. But so near is the negative marker for the past. It is eat. So she, and she is she, is she. So she didn't eat. And then it. She didn't eat it. Ach, tan gran yog in a color. But the hedgehog is in her sleep. A storeen. So again, a store means treasure. A storeen is just a kind of term of endearment, it means like darling. You have the diminutive case at play here again. Who eat Lina a color? So Lina went to sleep. Gullua, early, on Ihashin. So that night. So when we want to say that in Irish, we wrap the noun between on and shin. Literally, it kind of translates to the night there, which in, which translates in English to that night. Honig daddy is shock. Daddy came in. August lay she scale di. He read. So this is the past tense. It doesn't have a h because it starts with l. L, n, and r can never take a h. 
Aisha scale, he read a story. De, so this is the prepositional pronoun. Dumb to me, ditch to you, do to him, di to her. Ihoa, good night. So we can tell here that iha is a feminine noun because the adjective that goes with it is being lenited. Ayari, so good night, dad, said Lina. Good night, darling, said dad. August kolossal, and sleep uh, smoothly or soundly. Tamil in a yeshin. So Tamil literally translates to a while. In a yeshin, in its wake, or we translate to kind of a while after that. Hula kliena, kliena heard on Vostok, the rain. And we can tell that Vostok is feminine because that is the lenition after the definite article. Lame shiamach asan lava. She jumped out of the bed. We can we don't know if lava is feminine or masculine here because it starts with an L. Lame also, it's in the past, we can tell that because it doesn't have any suffix, it's not layman or lame he, but it won't take a H because it starts with uh, L. Angran yog vukt, so the poor hedgehog. So the adjective vukt is also being lenited because it's a feminine noun. Ersetlina, be she fluk bache. She will be, be she. Fluck wet bache is just soaked. She'll be wet soaked. Duskal Tlina and Durs Kukun. So Tlina opened the door. Kukun. Kun is quiet. Kukun quietly. Agasa Machli and out with her. Sagardin into the garden. And off she went into the garden. Kawil to. Where be you? Where are you? Agron Yogin. Um, diminutive term for hedgehog. Akron yogin vukt, so poor little hedgehog, Ersatlina. Tatu fluk, you're wet. Fluk bacha, soaked. Tur hime, I will bring. So tur can kind of mean give or bring. Tur hime is stock, I'll bring in you. I'll bring you inside. We, bring, we use is stock as opposed to is when we have it with a verb of motion. So you say ta me is but whenever you have a verb of action, I will bring, I will go, you use is Be to jas tiramanish. So you will be nice, dry, nice and dry in English. We don't need an and between adjectives. Anish now. Ersa tlina, set tlina. Hug tlina and gran yogaschak. So tlina brought the hedgehog inside. Let's go down here. Be lava tiram anish agat. So bed dry. So a, a dry bed will be now. At you, you will have a dry bed now. Ersetlina lesh and ranyog. So ersetlina to the hedgehog. In Irish, you always say something to something, or you always listen. Sorry, in Irish, I always say something with somebody, or you listen with music. Whereas in English, you'd use ta. And whenever you have this combination of a preposition plus the definite article, the noun, if it can be, will be eclipsed. So g is eclipsed by n. And onto the last page, lig mami beik ashti. So, mom let a scream ashti from her, out of her. So, in Irish, we don't have a verb to scream, so you have to let it scream out. So, if I, if I screamed, I would say lig me big asum, but lig she big ashti. So, the I here is referring to she, out of her. Awa just means ow. Tarudagan, some, so thing, some, so something is salaba in the bed, air shisha. So, she said she. Notice here now it's not ersa because the next word is starting with an s. So if that's the case, this just reduces to air. But it doesn't mean on, it means replied still, just like ersa. Awa. And actually one last page. Gran yog a ta aun. A hedgehog is that is what is there. Ersa daddy. Atlina, she calls out in the in the vocative case. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope that's useful for you. Thank you very much for watching.